Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. And today, we are going to be showcasing the newly Extreme Z Awakened Physical Super Saiyan Gotenks. Now, this is a unit that actually has a very special place in my heart because he was one of the original units that I ever rainbowed all the way back in my early days of playing Dokkan. And for my newer players out there, let me tell you, this guy used to be considered an absolute monster and I'm so glad to see he finally is getting the respect that I feel like he deserves. And as always guys, I'm going to quickly go over the details for his Extreme Z Awakening, so if you already know what he does, then feel free to skip ahead to the gameplay. I'll put a timestamp somewhere above my head over here. And without further ado guys, let's jump in. Starting with his leader skill, he gives all types key plus 3. HP, attack and defense plus 77%, his super attack causes immense damage, really glad he got the immense damage multiplier by the way, and seals the enemy's super attack, and his passive is attack plus 120% when performing a super, E plus 1 up to 3 and defense plus 30% up to 120% with each super attack performed, so essentially after 3 supers, he'll max out on the key, and after 4 supers, He'll max out on the defense and I'm pretty sure the math checks out there yes it does okay <laughs> and his links stay the exact same as before golden warrior super saiyan prepare for battle innocence fuse fighter saiyan lineage and fierce battle and his categories are fusion hybrid saiyans majin buu saga youth and super saiyans so there you go guys that is the new and improved physical super saiyan go tanks and without further ado let's jump into the gameplay and see how well this guy can perform on this fusions team I have set up here. Now we actually have a very, very nice first rotation. He's linked up with the AGL Super Gogeta, who gives him plus 25% attack and plus five key through links. And we also have the support from the Pandel here. So things should be pretty good. We should see some pretty nice numbers. All right, let's do this. So everybody gets some key, uh, even Pandel can super, that's cool. And let's focus on the tanking here, which is not going to be too good. No, it's not great at all, but <laughs> damage-wise, I think he makes up for it. 2.3 million sealed the um, Super Boo, by the way, the Buhan. Not bad. Not bad. Now compare that to the Gogeta, who I know is effective against all, so his attack is going to be a little bit lower. 2.1 million, that's a rainbowed AGL Gogeta versus the newly Extreme Z Awakened physical Super Saiyan Gotenks, 2.3 million, 2.1 million, all right? That should tell you something. <sighs> That's awesome. That is freaking amazing, man. These Extreme Z Awakenings these days have just been quite outrageous. That's that's all I can really say, man. They've been very, very good, and uh, I gotta give props to Bandai for that. They're not afraid of making these old units as good as um, essentially new Dokkan Fest units, man. Like, they're on the same level, if not better, than some of the new Dokkan Fest units. Especially when we think about things like units like um, the new Super Saiyan Blue Kaoken Goku that I just showcased yesterday, who hits ridiculously, ridiculously hard. He's got to be on the top 10 list of hardest hitting TURs in the game now. And there's also Int Janemba, who I personally believe is the best TUR in the entire game for just all the things he does, man. He he tanks, he hits super hard, he can dodge, he he's just the perfect all-around unit, man. The only thing he's missing is that healing. If you could heal, then he would be the perfect all-around unit, but, um, you know, like, these easy A's have just been crazy, and this guy is not even a Dokkan Fest exclusive. The physical Super Saiyan Go tanks can be pulled on any banner as an unfeatured unit, which I think just makes this even crazier, man. So yeah, first showing, pretty good, 2.3 million. And uh, his defense is currently at, so we did get the first 30% buff. So his defense is now at 62,334, which is not too bad. I'm predicting that after the four supers, we should be at around 100,000, maybe just below, but that would make him a pretty decent tank. And he is linked up with, yeah, so we're going to link him up with the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks now. He does lose a bit of key, but since the uh, Super Saiyan Gotenks actually is self-sufficient for key, it doesn't really matter too much. And um, the Gotenks, the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks does give him plus 10% more attack than the Gogeta does since they share the, the Innocence link. So we're going to keep it like this. And I'm expecting a little bit lower attack this time, but still pretty good. 
one point yeah, one point nine five mil. That's still pretty solid. That's still pretty respectable. All right, now damage-wise, like the actual output, don't focus too much on that because we are on the Boo event where this guy just has the most crazy damage reduction, right? But that's also part of the reason why I like to bring uh, showcase or do showcases on this event because yo, we almost died there. I like to do showcase on this event because of how long it takes to kill the boss. So for units that actually can stack defense or stack attack and so on and so forth, you can see a few more stacks than your average though kind of event, right? So. Um, I know some people don't like showcases on this event, but I just think it make I think it makes sense for these situations. You know what I mean? So yeah, Go Tanks is looking pretty good. He is looking pretty good. Now you can't compare him to units like the Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken and Goku that I showcased yesterday because they're just they're different things, man. Dokkan Fest unit versus a non Dokkan Fest unit. There's not really much of a comparison, but if you just look at him uh, in, through the lens of like a non Tokan Fest Extreme Z Awakening, getting numbers like that, like 2 million, 2.3 million, maybe even a little bit higher once we get the Pandel on rotation again, that's that's something else, man. That's something else. Yo, this team is taking down this boo way too fast. <laughs> we need the Gogetas to stop hitting so hard so Boo can actually make it to the final stage. Um, he's gonna heal up a little bit here, so that's good. But we do have type advantage here too, so I'm a little bit concerned about that. Uh, let's see our defense now. Our defense is now 74,000. I still think we have... I think we still have two more supers worth of defense to get. So we're currently at 60% additional defense on the passive. And yeah, he should be over 100,000. He should be pretty close, if not over 100,000. Alright, third attack, guys. Should be the same damage, because he doesn't stack attack. But defense will go up, so I'm curious to see. Actually, we don't get attacked here. No, so Boo's gonna heal, so we're not gonna get attacked. That kind of sucks. All right, so we're gonna do almost a million damage. We're gonna seal Boo as well. I actually thought the seal prevented him from healing too, but I guess not. That's fine. I guess only stunning would stop him from healing. But that's good. It's actually a good thing because we do want the Boo to survive for a little bit longer. I want to at least get the rotation with the Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks, the Super Saiyan Go Tanks, and the Pendel all together so that we can see some, uh, basically his max potential on this team here. Oh, dude. I forgot. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why I don't, I don't think about this, but yeah, we're, we're getting the double Gogeta Blue transformation, which could be, could be trouble for Boo, man. This could definitely be, this is a pretty crazy rotation, guys. Okay, um, let's just pray that Boo survives this, I guess. Not much we can do about this. Not much we can do about I, I should have actually brought the... I should have brought Physical Gogeta. I should have brought Physical Gogeta. But then, if I brought Physical Gogeta, then he probably would have transformed anyways, right? Because we're below 50% HP now. I guess So I guess it doesn't matter. The Fusion Steam is just too strong. The Fusion Steam is way too strong now, especially with the, the Go Tanks too. Uh, with the easy go tank that is i mean for the super saiyan go tanks yo imagine the super saiyan 3 go tanks at an easy man this guy's already hitting 2.53 million attack um so you know, once those 120 leads start getting easy a's it's gonna be fun it's gonna be fun i mean think about how hard freaking super saiyan 4 goku is gonna hit man this guy still does like 2.53 million on a 170 percent team so yeah i can't can't wait for that can't wait for that. I'm getting sidetracked. Okay, so uh, now we have basically the best rotation we possibly can for attack on this uh, team, and Go Tanks is up to 85,709 defense, which is not bad. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. And let's give him one orb here. Let's actually give our Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks one orb as well. And Pandel can super two if she wants. I don't really care. Doesn't really matter. All right. So we're getting supered with type disadvantage. Just, just don't die. As long as they don't die, I'm good to go. 142k. Okay, so... <laughs> Damn. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. Alright, so 2.46 million attack. 1.8 million additional as well. 2.46 million once again. So almost 2.5 million attack right there. And uh, Boo is now sealed. And our Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks gets 2.8 million. So the new Easy A Gotenks is just... It's basically just below the Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks as far as damage output goes, but at the same time, he's way, way tankier. Like, significantly tankier than physical Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks. So, 
I would say uh, he's just very good, man. Just very, very good. Really impressed with this Extreme Z Awakening. Um, once again, as always, as I say in these videos, can't wait for it to come to global because that is where I primarily, primarily play. Um, and JP should get it very soon. JP should be getting this EZA within the next... Let me check, actually. I can probably see on this website here. Uh, within the next five days. So there you go, guys. That is the showcase for the physical Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks Extreme Z Awakening. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, let me know in the comments down below what you think about it. I think it's very, very good. Um, definitely blew away my expectations. And... That's it, guys. You know what? Let's do one more attack with the Go Tanks to end it off. Because it is a showcase after all, right? It is a showcase after all. Or we might we might just die here, actually. We'll see. Okay, so I'm going to give him some orbs. Take some orbs there. He can have some orbs. And we'll give him some orbs as well. And now it's time for me to sign off. Guys, you're awesome for watching. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed the showcase. And as always, if you like the video, then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out